was Daniel Wright. Hello and welcome to Condition by Kia. So today is day five out of 10, where I am testing out the 10 day Daniel diet. I am doing the spiritual side on that as well, but that is a personal side for me. And I am vlogging everything about the physical side and I am testing to see if I can actually get physically stronger with eating nothing but fruits, vegetables, and water. All right, so today's focus is actually going to be all about gut health, and I actually have three Bible verses to go over all about food. So the first one is in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 29, and it says, Then God said, Look, I have given you every seed-bearing plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. So right there, God gives us plants from the ground, fruit from the trees, and that is good. And the next one I'm going to be going over is actually in Genesis chapter 9, starting from verse 1, and it says, Then God blessed Noah and his sons and told them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, all the animals of the earth, all the birds in the sky, all the small animals that scurry along the ground, and all the fish in the sea that will look on you with fear and terror. I have placed them in your power. I have given them to you for food, just as I have given you grain and vegetable but you must never eat the meat that still has lifeblood in it. So basically you're still getting grains, you're still getting vegetables, you're still getting fruit, and now God gives animals to eat so long as you cook it all the way through. All right, and the third one I'm gonna go over is from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse four. And it says, since everything God created is good, we should not reject any of it, but receive it with thanks, for we know it is made acceptable by the word of God in prayer. So basically, God gives us vegetables, fruit, grains. God gives us animals that move and breathe to eat. And that is all good. So the problem when we eat man-made things like preservatives and things that have been made in a lab, our bodies do not accept it so well because our bodies were not meant to digest it and not meant to eat it. Um, that doesn't mean you can't eat them at all. It just means that your body's not going to be happy about it because that is not the way God designed our bodies to be. All right, and as nutrition is definitely an important piece of this, uh, my breakfast was my same oatmeal with berries and peanut butter, one cup, one cup, and one scoop. And then for lunch, I decided to mix it up. So I got a potato, cut it into tiny pieces, and then with the mixed veggies, cook those together, and added some spices and then had that with a side of half an avocado and then shortly after that i was actually still pretty hungry so i decided to have another smoothie and this time the smoothie didn't have the greens in it since i already had a lot of vegetables in the potato mix there um, so i put a banana i put half a cup of mixed berries and then a whole uh, one cup of other mixed fruits like peaches and strawberries and then for dinner, it was just rice and beans with the other half of my avocado. So today's workout is going to be legs and abs. And how I'm going to roll with today is I'm going to be supersetting one exercise with legs and then one exercise with abs back to back. And then make sure I get three to four sets of each. And then I'm going to move on to the next superset so until I get all eight of my exercises. And that is how I'm going to roll with today. Right, so I'm starting with dumbbell pickups. I'm starting with a dumbbell in between my feet and my knees unlocked and ready. Grabbing the dumbbell in a deep squat, picking it up, setting it down, switching the hands. Every time, every time I come up, I make sure I don't lock out my knees. So it's a glute squeeze here with unlocked knees, little pulse as I switch out the dumbbell, or as I switch out my hands on the dumbbell, I should say. This one has the split stance side bend, holding the dumbbell on the leg, that's forward. Reaching the dumbbell towards the knee and bringing it back up.
and then the other side. These ones are going to be side lunge pickups. I'm starting with the dumbbell just in front of my foot here. Grab the dumbbell, swap it down, or set it down and swap your hands. So you're grabbing it, with the right foot is here, the left hand here. Drop it down, swap. This one is going to be the standing knee up side crunch. Bringing the dumbbell to your hip as you bring your knee up. These are going to be leg scissors, starting with the dumbbell above your head, legs are up, one leg drops, and then alternate. This one is the goblet squat step out. I'm doing 10 pulses, 10 regular. Starting low, pulse, that's one. Pulse it out, two, three, four. I'm staying low on this, never going high. Just staying in that low, few inches. These ones are going to be a leg raise with the knee in, with the dumbbells above your head, starting legs up, legs come down, knees in, legs out, and back up, that's one.
All right, well, that was my day five out of 10. I'm feeling great. My energy levels are quite amazing. Uh, I actually woke up with a natural energy today when I normally wake up pretty groggy. Um, all in all, I can say that my body feels better. I feel happier inside and so far so good. Strength test is coming up soon, but I feel like it's going to be awesome. But as always, I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day. Stay tuned for day six. I hope to see you there.